Hello and welcome to CNCF Minutes. And in this video, we'll be talking about Longhorn. So Longhorn is a CNCF sandbox project. It is cloud native distributed block storage for Kubernetes. Now you can also call it as a persistent container storage solution because as and when the enterprise storage needs are growing, the persistent storage needs are growing, there was a need of a solution that can manage it at scale, that can be easily installed, easily configured, that is easy to use and have a good UI. And that is what Longhorn is all about. So it is super simple to easy use, configure, install, and uses the node disk for the storage. It has a very good inbuilt UI. Uh, there are many uses and the features. So with Longhorn, the stateful apps are made easy. Replication, so you can do the replication of the data. You can do the replication of the volume across the nodes. Backup to external storage, which is a very good feature. You can back up your data to external storage. Disaster recovery planning, so you can have your disaster recovery implemented using Longhorn where you have the volume storage backup and then you can restore from that to another Kubernetes cluster. And you can also take snapshots and have a scheduling of the backup done and it offers smooth upgrades. So all in all, Longhorn comes with a powerful package of a storage solution for Kubernetes. This is what the architecture on a very high level looks like. There's a manager pod on running on every node. As a daemon said, it always communicates to the API server. Whenever a request is coming to create or manage the volumes, it will create the engine as well. So this is what uh, the engine is for every volume, there will be an engine. So there are three instances in this particular case for a volume and for each volume, there is an engine, which is a dedicated controller for that particular volume. Each long run volume has two replicas and each replica again is a Linux process and all the arrows over here represent the read write flow. So the main reason for having long run engine for each volume is that uh, if one controller fails, the function of the other volumes is not impacted. So this is a very high level architecture of long on with long on 1.1.0. Uh, there are certain uh, cool features like built in read write many support, which is still experimental ARM 64 CSI snapshot or Prometheus support. Let's see what the Longhorn UI looks like. So this is what a Longhorn UI looks like. Uh, it tells you about all the uh, node information. Uh, so you have three nodes, uh, the storage and the volumes. You can go to each node. Uh, you can edit the node and uh, you can enable disable for scheduling. And then you can go to the volume. You can create the volume attached to a particular node. Like you can see this particular volume is there and it is attached to a PVC. And then you can have the backups as well. Also, if you go to a particular volume, you can see the replicas and the location where it is stored on the node is bare lib longhorn. You can take the snapshot and you can also create the backups. And in the settings section, you can define where the backups and every detail should be there and where the default data path should be there and other settings. So that's what all in all Longhorn is all about. If you want more deep dive session, put in the comment box and we'll do a deep dive demo on Longhorn. So like, subscribe and share this video and thank you for watching.